previously on Blaze Takes. Solid buy it. I'm the Blazer of the Terabad, and I'll see you next time on Blaze Takes. Trove! Review Trove! Dang it! Don't make me Hydro Apocalypse you in the face! Review Trove, eh? Huh? Yoink! What? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Wait a second! Holy <laughs> shit, what are you doing with me? Hey! Put me down! Where are we going? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Let me go! <laughs> the heck, Blaze? Hi. Where am I? And more specifically, why am I here? You're in the Review Void. The Revoid. Okay, that is the lamest hybrid name I have ever heard in my life. I'd like to see you make a better name. X-Death's Review Pit? What the fuck is an X-Death? You know, King of the Void. Oh, the Final Fantasy V guy, right. So, tell me again why you dragged my butt over here and why I should be shooting a Hydro Apocalypse in your face. Threatening me with that again? You know, last time you did that, I made you evaporate. Run away! Run away! Run away! Don't run! I wanna be a friend! Yeah, well, I have an extra trick up my sleeve this time. Hey, get back here! Shadow Force, bitch! Oh, my terabats! Oh, okay, fine. Leave. I don't need your help reviewing Trove anyways. What? Trove? Why didn't you tell me what I asked? Because it was funnier to drag out this conversation and possibly annoy the fans that I wouldn't just get on with it. I'm a huge troll. So you admit groin kicks are fun to you? Well, logic dictates that slapstick and misery is fa- OH SHIT WAIT NO- GET OVER HERE! <laughs> what is the pure essence of a video game? Is it the gameplay? Is it the graphics? Is it the epic story that shows who lives and who dies and you struggle to save the world with your companions? Or is it about- AN ADVENTURE! YEAH! This review is all about Trove! Trove is basically Minecraft on steroids of mustardy doom. I love Fawful! And when I say it, I mean it. The entire game is multiplayer and it has RPG elements, so yeah, MMORPGs, woo! And keep one thing in mind, this game is free. When you first log into Trove, you need to do a basic tutorial on how to play the game. Then you can claim a cornerstone. This is basically a house you can keep in your pocket. And from that point on, you're basically just let loose into a world of An ADVENTURE! Are we going to play that clip every time I say An ADVENTURE! God damn it, stop playing that! <laughs> <laughs> to liven up the gameplay, there are many different classes you can buy with free money you can get in the game. You have two basic ones from the start, the Gunner and the Knight, but you can also get a Fey Trickster, Dracolite, Neon Ninja, Candy Barbarian, Ice Age, and Shadow Hunter! Well, actually, if you log in for the first time now, you actually start with the knight and one more class of your choice. But, yeah, if you started with the knight-gunner combo at first, you're kinda stuck. Anyway... Each class has their own unique abilities and styles. The gunner is long range, knights wield huge freaking broadswords that remind me of cloud sword, and Dracolites summon MOTHERFUCKING DRAGON! <laughs> I got this next one. Next is the Fairy Trickster, which relies on teleporting and high damage basic attacks that loses its power if you're attacked. The Neon Ninjas relies on high mobility and a combination of close ranged and long ranged attacks. And Candy Barbarians, with focus on high damage melee attacks while remaining in the fight by consuming the candy that they spawn during their attacks. And the two most recent classes added by the point of time this video goes up are the Ice Age and Shadow Hunter. Ice Age is basically an ice version of the Dracolite, though there are differences. And the Shadow Hunter uses a bow and is able to shoot enemies through walls like a boss! Trove has a huge emphasis on making friends. Because most of the higher ranking worlds have hard bosses that are not really easy to take down on your lonesome. And you don't even need to be in a party either, because this game decides to go by the Guild Wars 2 style of community system by having everyone benefit equally to materials found, enemies slain, and experience gotten. So if you see an item on the ground, don't worry, you're not stealing it. Nobody else can see it but you. Pick that shit up! Oh, and there are a lot of benefits that items give you. You can get different weapons, masks, and hats that give you things like health benefits, Fits, melee damage boots, and my personal favorite, extra jumps! Yeah, bitch, jumps for days! Fun fact, 
Did you know that there's actually no limit to how many jumps your character can have? So you can literally have 20 jumps if the stat says so. Yeah! I'm flying! Oh wait, those are wings. Yeah! They recently added wings too! This entire game is basically giving us enough material to make a scout cry! And then the heavy laughed in his face. Wait, where were we? Oh, right. An adventure bar! Now this game has no storyline. You're just set loose in this hub world, and from there you can explore club worlds that players created, customize your avatar, go to a cornerstone area in the hub to work on your little corner of the world. Oh, I get it! Or you can go into the meat and potatoes of this game, the adventure worlds. Adventure worlds vary in difficulty. To the super easy beginning worlds, to the holy fuck how is this even a thing uber worlds. And once you get into an uber world, you can start going to the shadow realm. Can we please not talk about that? I don't want to record footage of that place. It's evil! Oh, right. So, how about the biome slash landscape? Hey, look at these biomes and landscapes! Well, first off, it's worth noting that every dungeon, every item, every fucking detail in this game was co-produced by the community. Each item has a name, look, and the name of the player who made it. It's freaking cool. And there are so many biomes to look at. The deserts, the neon cities, the volcanoes, the peaceful grasslands, the frigid Freuds, the candy- CANDY! <laughs> oh my god, it tastes like diabetes! Anyway, you could also get a horse to ride on, and they recently added pet companions like cats and dogs! And raptors! Fun fact, did you know? That you can actually type in multiple different chat areas, saying 4 slash 1 will cause you to speak globally. Did you know, four slash you can two type 4 slash 1 to type in the global slash chat to speak slash locally two in your to type current world vicinity. Chat. And who? what are you doing? I'm reading the tutorial and the gameplay footage. Well, I'm reading from the script. Well, which one of us is right? Well, I'm right, because I read from the script, which makes it handwritten and more credible. Well, I'm reading directly from the game, so it makes it a more reliable source. Well, I got the script from the game itself, so I have no reason to lie about it. Hey, come here, you lootish, dull-eyed bloodsucker. Hey, three words for you, buddy. Stop hitting yourself. Ow. Stop hitting yourself. Ow. Stop hitting yourself. Ow. Stop hitting yourself. Ow. Guys, can't we all just get along? I mean, seriously, you- Hey, butt out, pea brain. Yeah, nobody asked for your opinion. Oh, shit. <laughs> See, now look what you did. I did it. You're the one who called him pea brain. Oh, shit, he's gone for death. Run, run for your life. And we haven't even mentioned the building mechanics, the stuff you can find, and- and, and... God, there's so much! Well, seems this game broke on! And now I can begin my plans to slowly assimilate her channel into mine and eventually take over all of YouTube! <laughs> hey! Oh. Uh, hi, Water Lily. If you're gonna take down our channel, you have to deal with all of us! Uh, what? Uh, you're welcome. So, where were we? Uh, it's a good game! Play it! I'm the place with the chair, man! I have to go now! Um, okay... I'm the Water Master Fawn, and... HOW THE FUCK DO I GET OUT OF HERE?!